Hello YouTube and welcome to another video in the series uh, to every planet and back. This time we are going to Jewel, which uh, is the heaviest uh, and biggest planet without an atmosphere. So uh, it's quite challenging to land on. You, know, you need big lander, and you know if you need a big lander, you need a big uh, rocket, uh, you know, to get your lander there. But luckily, it isn't that far away. It is uh, orbiting around Jewel, and you can arrow break at Jewel, so that uh, saves a lot of fuel. And you no, know, I've added some extra boosters because uh, you know, the the hardest part uh, will probably be getting this lander and uh, you know, this nuclear engine boat into orbit. So uh, yeah, that will be probably be the hardest part. But uh, I think uh, you know, we'll be able to make it. You know, we'll just you know, take a really high orbit. It'll be fine. And for some reason the rocket is uh, spinning. Okay, now it, it had something to do with those boosters because uh, now it stopped. But yeah, going to Jewel, no first trying to make orbit. We're already at 10 kilometers. Just a little bit. You know, we've gone through the hardest part already. And uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer till I turn with this one because uh, I want to go in a really high orbit, you know, to give a uh, nuclear engine as much time as possible uh, to get in an orbit. Because I don't think uh, there is uh, enough fuel in this rocket. But I uh, know uh, this engine won't can't you know carry much more fuel. Well, maybe I think I could have maybe changed this one also in an orange tank. But, uh, I don't know. It's getting uh, really hard for the rockets. It'll get really hard. Yes. But uh, you know, Epwebs, you know, it's already almost out of the atmosphere. And the time to app web is also uh, you know, increasing. And it seems like we've still got you know, like a thousand meters per second left. So it'll be alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need, I don't know, like four or five minutes. I don't know exactly how much time I need. Let's not make it make it dirty. Oop. Let's see if I uh, guesstimated this right. Okay, time to app web is uh, slowly decreasing. But let's speed this up. See if we'll make this. This is definitely the hardest part. Maybe I should have also you know, burnt up a little uh, with uh, this engine. But uh, now I'm gonna dedicate myself to my mistake. You know, I'm gonna keep burning sideways. Dedicate to your mistake. But, uh, I think this is going to. I think I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm looking at this time to app webs thing, and looking at my rate to app webs is uh, 
Barry F is just going up. Okay, now I'm starting to doubt myself again. Uh, what a roller. What a roller. Goes the right of emotions. And we're falling again. Oh. Oh, not a roll, bitch. Okay, maybe I need to start burning upwards a little bit more too. More upwards, we don't really need to go any faster, we just need to stop falling. If that makes any sense. But we'll probably make it. Yeah, no way that uh, this is going wrong. This is going to be uh, fine, I tell you. So uh, we can uh, probably start burning towards uh, fuel soon. And okay, we're done. Well, that wasn't so bad. But let's target Jewel and wait for it to uh, align properly. Okay, this looks great. Looking good. Perfect. Maybe I'll uh, do this burn. Uh, no, in two steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, luckily we've already uh, you know, got a little bit of speed, you know, because uh, our, uh, you know, because of our uh, way we ascended, you know, we already uh, got you know, a little bit of a bigger uh, ferry apps, uh, app webs, and also a little bit bigger ferry apps, but that one you all actually want to keep... Uh, as low as possible. But yeah, we're probably going to do this uh, in two steps, or maybe not. Maybe it'll be fine. But I don't think so. We'll finish this burn off in the next pass. Oh. 
Oh, why is it moving? Stop it. Oh, because I'm still accelerating. Okay. I was like, what? Notice the nuclear engine has no has to pull a lot of weight. The little atomic engine that could. Okay. This turn will make it. These burns no, are just enormous. But yeah, Tylo, I was kind of surprised that I uh, know how small could get the lander. I saw Scott Manley uh, do this too, and I uh, know he and you know, I uh, used this you know, enormous uh, rocket you know, to get uh, out of uh, to get uh, to land on a jewel on uh, Tylo and get back. But uh, no, it can actually be uh, pretty small, so that's nice. It's quite uh, a funny uh, lander because uh, it's like the first stage is like for you no know, for a little part till you you know touch the ground. It that's how heavy this plant is, you know. You you need like to build a two stage lander. But, uh, yeah, like the first uh, stage is for like getting down you know to the ground. If you no, know, then we'll. Uh, Decouple it, load the station, and then we'll, you know, we do the last bit of the landing with the, uh, no, the, the last stage, and that will also get us uh, into orbit. Now let's see how close we can get this encounter. Probably easier if we do it this way. Okay, that's the close we get. We'll do some uh, elevation changing when we uh, get the jewel. Inclination changing, I mean. And we still have a lot of fuel left, so that's nice. I've all, I also said that when we were going to Juna, you know, tons of fuel left, but uh, I think this time, uh, you no, know, I really have enough fuel. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, what was that? Spazzing out. 
doesn't matter, it's a good moment to uh, change the inclination. And we have to go a little bit more upwards. We need to go to the top, start at the bottom. Now we're here. Didn't really, you know, I don't really know what the best place to change this is. It's I I like I thought it was like somewhere half between the inclination marker and you know the planet somewhere in the middle. But uh, I don't know the exact spot. I'm going in on the wrong side at the moment. I need uh, to get in. Uh, and now at the moment I'm uh, going in the wrong direction. But uh, can I fix that now already? Need to go to the right. This. To the 90 degrees marker. Okay. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, and uh, a little bit, I need to go a little bit more upwards, but uh, I'll fix that uh, when we change sphere of influence. Let's first save this and uh, arrive at you. This time warp mod coming in very handy again. Okay, almost there. Okay, so we need to go uh, a little bit upwards and a little bit to the right. I will just do them one at a time. I'm not NASA. I can do these things uh, similar simultaneously. Oh yeah, let's uh, target Tylo. Ah, does it show uh, inclination? That would be very nice if it did that. And with the price. Let's uh, get the landing guidance in this too. Okay, that looks fine to me. And no, that's roughly the right uh, inclination. Oh, seems like we can also maybe even get an encounter. Should be pretty easy, you know, Tylo is very heavy. Let's save this. That's why we save.
500 meters per second arrow breaking. Not that much, actually. Could have been worse, I guess. But still, no 500 meters per second. Nothing to laugh at. It might just save your life, chap. Who knows? Or maybe it just doesn't even get close. Okay. End of landing predictions. This is some fancy orbital ballet, I must say. Let's see. Got kind of lucky that we uh, already got this encounter. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna do the inclination change uh, you know, at the, where the node is at the moment. So we come uh, in as, as close as possible to Tylo. Go, go, go. Okay, and also, uh, can we already do that now? Go a little bit... Uh, Six hundred thousand. I think we need to, uh, we can change it right now, but... We get a little bit closer, like with Apple Apps. We can also, like, uh, go a little bit to the left. And make sure we get, uh, I don't know, like... 20 kilometers or something like that near uh, Tylo. Oh, wrong way. Twenty kilometers, I said. Closer, the better. Okay, that's fine, safe, and uh, let's visit our big friend. Oh, well, this is what inclination change will do, I guess. Always a bit of a hassle, this uh, stuff. Well, 
but now we're fine. Let's see how much we need. A thousand meters per second. Well, that's a lot. Maybe it would have been better if, like, you know, when we went into this system, you know, just try to hit Dilo. You no, know, just get uh, an encounter immediately. Guess I'll try that next time. Oh, I think I started a little bit late with this uh, burn. Doesn't matter, it'll be fine. See how this how fast we can. Maybe if the if like Dilo had trees, maybe, like we could see how uh, you know, compared a bit with Curb and how fast coming. Because Dilo was around the same size as Curb, I think. We're going up again. I'm trying to watch this paraphrase. I'm trying to uh, uh, point downwards at the oh, this altitude increasing. Let's see uh, which way I have to point so that. Uh, um, yeah, I just follow the maneuver now, I think. Does this slow it down? Yes, it does. So let's uh, no, let it hang around here for a little. I try to keep... Uh, so that the uh, barrier doesn't uh, go too low. Okay, well, we'll do the next uh, burn uh, when we're at uh, Periaptus again. Because I bet it's getting inefficient. Somehow, I don't know. Okay, maybe we can do it even closer to Periapsis. Eight kilometers should no, still be fine. I think the highest mountains are like four kilometers. So let's set this to like 20 kilometers. Perfect. This uh, looks pretty good. So let's uh, go uh, one more time around Tylo so we can land at the light side. We're landing at Dom. Um, okay, I think we used a bit of fuel on this one. I'm sorry, pusher, but uh, we're really gonna need it. Gonna need all of it. But we'll come back uh, a lot uh, less heavy. 
So uh, at least you got that going for you. Um. Okay. Okay. This is filled. This is all filled. This is battery full. Yes, battery is also fine. Okay, so I think that we are ready to save. And start uh, and try to uh, land this. Let's engage this big engine. I always try to bring as little as possible RCS because RCS is actually an extremely efficient, efficient fuel source in this game. They really should uh, rebalance that stuff. Okay then. Man, we're moving so fast. Um, okay. So what I need to do is, uh, well, let's just first start the engine. Is uh, look at the suicide time, suicide burn countdown, and get no, don't let it get below zero. Maybe I don't know. And uh, also watch the. Vertical speed. And uh, I guess we should be fine. Because I think you know, these two tanks you know, is just enough fuel uh, to make sure that, uh, uh, to you know, be at a standstill at the. Uh, at, uh, at, uh, Three meters per second, you know, then at, you know, around that exact moment, you know, this this fuel, this engine cuts out. But I think uh, we can burn uh, we need to uh, make sure I'm not crashing into the ground here. Of course, you know, I want to uh, I want to uh, you know, get uh, a little bit uh, close to the ground, you know. Uh, Stopping, but, uh, well, I have a, a, a bit of you know, quite a big wind fuel. See, lots of fuel left. Okay, let's do this last bit with this engine. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so that's why we save. So uh, we need to be a little. I need to be a little bit more uh, careful. Is everything filled? Let's uh, give this another try. Attempt number dos. I guess I'll just target it already for when we're going back. Okay, so this time 
comic journal I'm uh, hovering at least. So that seemed to be uh, the problem there. I think it's uh, pretty easy to just you know, hover uh, before we uh, get there. And it seemed like I still had a little fuel left when I uh, arrived uh, at the ground, so... No, I have, I have the time. Uh, did I forget the... Oh shit, I don't goofed. Do I bounce, maybe? I guess I had uh, the wrong uh, ball. I guess I shouldn't have uh, targeted. Uh, shouldn't have targeted. Well, I could have targeted. But, uh, I guess I just should have uh, noticed uh, the nav ball uh, changing. Damn, it's hard to end here. Watch me fuel burn away. The fast is better. There's no when it's empty. We'll be at the ground. <coughs> That's the first tank goal. Yeah, you don't want to use a nuclear engine when landing in Thailand, because uh, the thing is too heavy. Way too heavy. Just, uh, I guess we'll just follow the marker. Oh, save us RCS. when we're just moving a little bit up. Yes. Ah, perfect. Let's save. Extend this ladder. And go. Good job, Jeff. Everything's so great around here. It's just like the moon. But it's heavy. Heavy metal. Can we fly in? Nope. Still need the ladder. Okay.
Um, yeah, this seems fine. Um, do we go? Yes, we go. Do we have enough fuel? That's the question. I think we do. But who knows? Um, let's look at the vertical speeds. Oh, we're falling down a little. Now we want to keep going up. Thirty kilonewtons pushing us far. I'm just trying to go as flat as possible. Uh, I don't want uh, our uh, lander to overtake us because it's a uh, lot less easier. It's a lot easier to uh, get an encounter uh, with. Uh, Another vessel if you're uh, in front of it, because you can just make your orbit bigger. Well, you can't always make your uh, you can't always make your orbit smaller. You know? Maybe you'll hit a mountain or something. Or if you make your orbit bigger, you you know, it will give your uh, the other uh, vessel time to uh, catch up. But we have 1,500 meters per second left, so uh, like we have. 200 meters per second, no wiggle room. But we're already going pretty flat. I think this is looking pretty good. Nine kilometers, eight nine kilometers, eighty eight. You'll never, <laughs> you'll never overtake me. You see, I hope you like red. If you only see my brake lights. Blah. My backlights. Now I think we can go fully flat. second left so I think we're gonna have to do a little bit from RCS I'm just looking at those uh, purple markers. Okay, 43 meters per second. I think I have like 500 meters per second in this in this RCS can. So uh, I'm okay uh, if it's this amount of cheating, I guess. It's uh, 43 meters per second. I think no normal. Uh, if it was balanced, I think I also would have had this. Oh, 
Okay. We'll fix the rest uh, when we get closer. Did we miss it? Oh my god. Oh no, we didn't miss it. Um... Use the run input planner for this. Do we need to go faster, slower? What do we need? Just playing around, uh, you know, pushing random buttons here. seeing what sticks okay nice um mm -hmm. okay maybe it's getting a little bit cheating now because i still have a lot of speed to make up for so uh, i know. make the lander a little bit bigger i guess if you're also gonna do this Nah, maybe. I think I, if if it's normal, if normally I'd have, because I I think I don't even have made a dent in one of the planets. So uh, I think Henry second more. I think that was looking fine. I guess I uh, have a better uh, encounter over there. I'm just breaking already a little. Breaking a little. Somehow I'm getting even closer doing this. Okay, don't need this anymore. Let's just go to the targets. targets kill rotation or not, just the parallel I know um, with this chase mode get look on or maybe not Seems a little bit wiggly. I just think parallel mode isn't that stable. I don't know. 
Uh, maybe this. Okay, now it's time for uh, fine control. Um, okay, using the yellow marker to push the pink marker on the orange marker. And then you get it. Um, yeah, put the remaining fuel uh, in here. And uh, seal that off. And uh, shut up this engine. And I guess we have 1250 meters per second left in here. And that's what we gotta need to get back to Kerbin. And the fuel in the land. Um, so, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna make it so that uh, our periapsis is uh, somewhere around uh, here, so that we can uh, slingshot you know, to the left, you no know, periapsis you know, on the right side, and then, and then uh, you know, slingshot to the left. So we need to be around here, I think. Not, I don't know exactly, but you know, I guess I'll just first make sure that I uh, leave uh, Tylo. Um, let's remove the altitude limits. from this stuff. Estimate this right. No, I think we need to go a little bit, fall down a little bit later, but uh, it's uh, in the right direction. Or maybe it's just, it just it's spot on, I don't know. Okay, well, it's getting really close, but we need to, you know, to do this a couple of orbits later. Of, uh, I know. Well, Tylo is, uh, I, I, I think, around here we need to do it. But other than that, I think we're fine. It's uh, because you know, this angle, you know, this is how this is the angle we need to wait. And it's like 30 degrees. So, like, we need to be here. I think now we uh, at the right position. Ooh, what, a thousand meters per second. This is uh, expensive stuff. You know, this will take you know the entire. Uh, nuclear uh, stage uh, down I 
Oké, okay, did I overdo it or something? Well, I think I did it around right. Somewhat, did I some, ah, oké, okay, well, this is like 15 degrees better or something. Something like, something like this. Could it have, couldn't have guesstimated it better myself. So what this burn will like take a uh, thousand meters per second. I've got like 10 meters per second, so it will take like a hundred seconds. So like something like two minutes. So I'm waiting. Uh, at the, the one minute mark. Do we have electricity left? Yes, we do. Nice. Okay, I got it around right. I guess this is where NASA would do a lot better. Oh, where? Suddenly started wiggling. Guess I can't can't do that. I guess I really should make it so that when you you know get attached, you know, with these throwing ports, that you know it's just like one of these normal bolts, you know, or that's just like one piece, you know, like to prevent all this wiggling in the game. Maybe a little bit faster. Maybe like double time it. Okay, it seems like it can take two times time acceleration. Did I burn too late? Okay, like let's get this to a uh, hundred and fifty kilometers. I think that will also make you know that the uh, fifteen degrees error uh, in that I made earlier uh, a little bit better, I think. You no, know, because we're going faster and stuff. Yeah, it comes a lot closer. At least, ah, uh, uh, okay, maybe it doesn't. Um, but in the, at least we only need 500 meters per second to get to. Uh, Kerbin, that at least that's nice. And still, it's what is like 10 degrees or something. That isn't so bad. That's a lot worse, though. Uh, Okay, um, let's uh, get to uh, our final burn. Well, not the final burn, but the biggest burn left. 
can can I please focus Tino? No, I can't. Focus. Can I focus the ship? Nope. Part of this burn uh, will be done with the stronger engine anyway. So I had to wait a little, but not this much. Damn, look at this acceleration. Like almost 1G. It's like red curbing or something. Okay, bye bye. Uh, I guess you'll be orbiting Jewel forever. You're creating space junk. These are the better G forces. It's like already at, with full fuel is already like twenty percent higher acceleration or something. That's what we want to see. That's the good stuff. But now let's get to uh, Kerbin level. If I was like a real pro, I would also wait it for uh, Jewel uh, to to be at the right uh, inclination. That would be the shit. Death. So now the inclination is kind of fucked up. But I think we did a pretty good job, and we have tons of fuel left. I um, guess we can break a little bit more. Ah, okay. Well, this is the easiest way to do it. Just uh, why are you not doing anything? Why am I not getting my encounter for that? Is it because my sending and desending notes are so fucked up? That first. This thrill, they're still pretty fucked up though. markers okay this seems to work okay let's do that Gerbils gotta wait next orbit. Can I please? Ah. I 
just wanna focus my shit. Game, why you do this? You can't see. Uh, what is? Oh. Okay, it probably is dead. Is it my shit? What the fuck? Oh, it's uh. Ah, uh, that was a joke, uh, shit. Trying to see how far I could get. And we're there. Let's give this another try. Nice, and uh, we'll sort out the rest when uh, we get a little bit closer. And then uh, we'll finally be back at our home planet. Wouldn't that be great? Yes it would. This uh, time warp mod. What would I have done? I don't know. I don't know. Seems like we need to burn a little bit upwards. Some reason, even while I'm getting closer, those approach markers disappear. It's a very KSP. Very random and stuff. But at least I have the wrong plan. Oh, now they're back for some reason. Focus Kerbin, what the fuck? Huh. Game. Really? Really game? This is looking good. And a little bit right.
and a little bit more down. And a little bit more to the left, because I want to land at the light side. Perfect. Um, I don't know, not, sometimes you don't actually land at the light side. And I actually think that this is one of these cases, but I'll fix it uh, when I get the uh, near curtain. I, oh, I do think I'll actually land at the light side. Yeah. Holy fish. Oh my god, don't tell me. Please don't put me... Did I save? Uh, did I save the time? Okay. Could have been worse. Not much though. Luckily uh, in the future, uh, in the next uh, update. We'll, uh, we'll luckily get the option to uh, time warp to a point instead of uh, we can time warp to a node. So MacJap has it also, but I know, maybe they'll maybe the developers will implement it better because uh, MacJap you know, takes a little bit of a very subtle approach, approach I must say. A little too subtle. Actually, it takes a long, but I don't know. I guess it saves a lot of mistakes. already uh, to the right yes Safe this time, and we can uh, get going. But I still can't fix my ship. Okay, looks good. Looks like we're hitting it straight on. I think we're hitting land. Let's save.
and I'll make sure we don't crash chat. Don't worry about it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Please. Perfect. Okay. Well, that was the return for Jebediah. Screw letters. I went out. Whoop. Return from Jewel is complete. Return from Tylo. Okay. Thanks for watching. The next uh, video uh, will be uh, about, uh, I think, late. <laughs>